Okay, Tyler, very, very funny. <laughs> oh, you're awake? Um, what were you doing? I was going to clap in front of you and scare you like in The Conjuring. What? That means... The Conjuring is the new big horror film of 2013, which is directed by James Wan, who has directed such previous films as Saw and Insidious, and it stars Patrick Wilson, Vera Farmiga, and Lily Taylor, and Ron Livingston. Or also known as, Do the guy from Office Space! This movie actually is based on a true story, and it follows his family, who um, are the parents are Ron Livingston and Lily Taylor, and they have five daughters. And they move into a new house, and th there's something wrong with it. It's haunted. And so they call these two paranormal investigators who are played by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga to check the house out. And they realize that it is as worse as can be. It's a demon possessing their house. Now, this movie I've been looking forward to for a long time. I thought it looked very creepy and very scary, which is very rare with horror movies nowadays. And how to go? This movie scared the living daylights out of me. Definitely one of the scariest movies I've ever seen in a long time, or if not the scariest movie I've seen probably in the 2000s. Or 2010s. I'm not, I can't really think of all the really scary movies I've seen in the 2000s. But it is definitely one of the best horror films I've seen. And I am not even joking. And the answer is this movie, I actually thought did a very good job. Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga, I thought, did the best performances in this movie. I thought their characters were written very, very well. You really cared about these two characters. And these two characters actually had somewhat of a little story coming in before they go into the house, in which I thought was very good. And Lily Taylor, I actually thought, did a very good job as well. Um, I think she's a good actress, but she hasn't been in the best movies. Like, uh, if you saw The Haunting remake... That's one of the worst horror movies I've ever seen. But she did a very good job in this movie, like, playing two specific parts, which I'm not really going to talk about, but she did very good. The kids, I thought, did a good job as well. I think they, for the role that they had to pull off, I think they did it very well. And I didn't really know most of the actresses, Joey King, I know, and Mackenzie Ford, because she was the daughter in Twilight. And Ron Livingston, the thing is, though, there wasn't really much of a character with him. He was... They pretty much just writ, wrote a dad in there, just had a couple scenes with him and another specific character, like either Patrick Wilson or his wife, but they really did not really use any character development with him. But something that The Conjuring did, which most horror films never do, is scare the crap out of me. Like, of course, they did have jump scares, but they weren't the cliche jump scares like someone opens the fridge and when they close it, someone's behind them or a cat leaping out of a cupboard or something like that. They actually had very good jump scares that were very new, very original, and very unique. I actually screamed in the movie theater a few times, which is very, very rare for me. And when the film is more involved in an exorcism type of thing, I was literally grabbing onto my cross necklace during it, and I'm like... Holy shit, this movie actually really is scaring me. And it really did. And, like, if, if you saw in the trailer the whole clapping thing, that is just so creepy. And how can you... Like, James Wan is, is so good because he just made clapping three times scary. And it scared living daylights out of me. If you saw in the beginning, that's actually what would happen if someone clapped right next to me. Even if it was someone else, I still would have shit my pants. <laughs> And also, I think this movie had very good pacing. I thought it was written very well. I was entertained throughout all the scenes, even though a tiny little smidge was that I kind of wish it got more into the haunted part a little bit faster because I think it, it was off by, like, at least five to ten minutes. Nothing really big, but I was a little bit upset. And which you've all seen in posters of it, that freaking doll, holy crap, that doll is one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Now that is a creepy doll, not Chucky, even though I do love Chucky. And almost every single scare that you had to have in this movie, they nailed it, top notch. I was on the edge of my seat, I was leaning back in my chair, I'm like, oh god, just happened, just happened, just happened! And that is what I want in a horror movie, to have the shit scared out of me. And, like, be afraid of sleeping at night, which... I'm not gonna lie, I was afraid before going to sleep. <laughs>
But then again, that's what I want in a horror film. Overall, The Conjuring is a fantastic horror film. It's scary, it's chilling, and very suspenseful. Definitely go see it in theaters, and especially this week, because it's going to be jam-packed, and it is so much more fun with a big audience. Because when you're screaming with them, I find it more entertaining. But, as I mentioned before, The Conjuring is definitely one of the best horror films I've ever seen. Definitely not compared to, like, Halloween and Psycho, but it's still a great one. I'll be giving The Conjuring an A. That is my review of The Conjuring, guys, and I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'm Lucas Stringer. I'll see you guys later.